Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you two new DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy. For the second DIY, you can switch out seasonal decors and use it year round. I am so excited. I hope you guys enjoy. I would love to hear what you think. So leave me a comment down below. First DIY, you will need one of this bowl, this ceramic painting set, and I chose this mini cake stand. Um, you could use a bigger one, but I chose this one. What we'll do is we'll remove the tag. I'm just using some acetone. Rub it on there and the tag will come right off. Make sure all the residue comes off. And you'll also be needing some of these green grass. I originally wanted to use green moss, but for some reason my Dollar Tree is out of them right now. I actually went to three of my nearest Dollar Trees and all three of them had no moss. I don't know what's going on, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to use this green grass instead. And this will just be using the little bunny. Just cut the ribbon. We'll just use some of we won't be needing a lot. Like so. I'm actually gonna glue the bunny down with the grass so it will stay put. Like so. And just put these eggs right next to it and I'm gonna trim around grass is a little bit messy but that's okay we can clean it up not a big deal okay I'm gonna use this tray as a tablescape this tray was from Target dollar spot back in the fall okay I'm gonna place the bunny in the middle and the flower and the vase that we made I'm gonna go right next to it like so and what I'm gonna do is I will scatter some of these grass in here as well And once that's done, I'm going to add these speckle eggs. I think this will be so cute on like a table, Easter brunch or breakfast. And then once Easter is over, you can take the bunny out and the eggs and then just use it for spring and summer. Just replace whatever you want in the globe and on the grass 
or just take the grass out and fill it with um, greeneries like eucalyptus. Next DIY is a bunny wreath. You will need a wreath and this bunny sign. We're gonna have to remove that bowl later and hot glue it back on because it's covering the bunny's eye. Okay, so first off, we're gonna remove the hanger from the bunny's ears and reattach it back later once everything is done. And then we're gonna remove the bottom half of the bunny this just comes right off. You don't even need the scissors. Alright, now we're gonna detach the bow and reattach it with hot glue. Okay, I'm gonna hot glue like that. So I'm going to turn the back, put tons and tons of hot glue. There. And some on the wreath as well. And presto. Got to hold it down for a bit so it will stay. Put some in the back too. I have here a bag of foam eggs. I'm gonna put it around the wreath, alternating colors, and I'm gonna cut each egg in half. The ribbon, you just pull it right out, like so. You can use a knife. But I have my X-Acto knife, so that's what I'm going to use. So once all the ribbons are pulled through, we're gonna slice the eggs in half. It's foam, so it's easily cut in half. And then we'll place the eggs on the wreath first before gluing it down. Make sure it's how and where we want it to be before we glue it down. That's what I always do when I make a wreath. I'm going to speed this part up because it takes a minute to slice them and place them on the wreath. I don't want to bore you guys to death with this part. Okay, so once the first row is done, I'm gonna go underneath the first row and go in between them so they'll look fuller. So once we're done with the eggs, we're gonna flip the wreath over and attach the Happy Easter carrot sign to the back. I'm gonna need lots of lots of glue. In the end, I decided to glue two halves of the eggs left over that I had on the string so it will hold the string down better, if that makes any sense. All the glues are dry, the wreath is done. I love it so much, I think it turns out great. Now we're gonna attach the hanger back. 
on the bunny's ears and he's good to go on the wall. I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more future videos. And don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And have a great day. Bye!